Okay, here we go. Hopefully this will actually work. Um, this is the usage of a compressor right now. There are two tracks active, the most important ones being the kick track and the chord track. The kick track is a simple four to the floor beat. Two, three, four. Isn't that fun? Um, the chords is uh, it's minor seventh chord for what it matters. Oh, actually, no, it was a preset that I used, um, but it comes out, I believe, as a minor seventh. Um, and it's just a pattern like that, and it sounds like this. Isn't that fun? So, if you listen to them together, they sound like this. Which is lovely, you know, it's a nice sound, but there's nothing interesting going on. So, what I did is I put a compressor on the chord package. Um, this button here controls this side chain. So using the side chain, I take the input from kick, I set the threshold very low. I'm not sure why it has to go so low to trigger it. Um, but now, hopefully, you can recognize sort of the whomp thing pulsating sounds, um, whereas it's on post mixer, so that's the difference. Hopefully, you can hear that. Um, and that's what it sounds like without the kick drum. So this is what helped me learn the compressor because it's a very noticeable sound to me and like mo moving the attack and release and ratios uh, gave me the ability to recognize in real time what it did. So just for fun, um, this is what the track sounds like with all the other parts. As you can see, messing with these ratios gives you things that weird it out. So hopefully that will help you out. Someone on the internet told me this was related to the French house sound, and I have no reason to disbelieve them, because nobody would lie on the internet. So good luck, I think.